Betsy Ratner, a leaping librarian, and I am so excited to have my co-host, fabulous author, Steve Shankin. Hello. And you know how it goes. We get one book, one author, one fan, and we see who knows the book better. So today, i um, so excited. The book is My Jasper June by Laurel Snyder, who we love, and we uh, also love. Um, and we have Skyped several times and uh, we've leaped together several times. So um, I'm a big fan and I'm so excited to have you on with us today. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And I really hope that sometime soon we can leap together again. Yay. And Steve will introduce your challenger. Yes, your challenger today is Mariella, a sixth grader in state of New York now. I heard that you might know Ms. Ratner. Maybe she's a librarian at your school. Is that true? Mm -hmm. You guys haven't had any sort of secret meetings or anything. Uh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, just have to make sure that that's true. You haven't seen the questions ahead of time. No. That's a okay. <laughs> but, uh, but I heard you're seriously. You're a big fan of this book in particular, and really mm -hmm. argued when she when your school had a Newberry contest. You really argued in favor of this one very passionately and successfully. So I think you're very well prepared. You guys feel ready to answer some questions on my Jasper June? I hope so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with one for each of you. I'll start with Mariella, then Laurel, and then Stacy will take over. So first, Mariella. For the past five years before the story took place, Leah always did this during her summer. Uh, she always went to camp. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Laurel. Leah meets Jasper for the first time at this place. Oh, that's Red's Farm. Red's Farm. I was just there two days ago. Oh, you mean it's it? Is it it's actually called Red's Farm? Everything or? in the book is real. Oh, wow. I mean, well, I don't know about everything, but all the spaces in the book are real. Very cool. Oh. That will have to okay, be one of my... I'll come to Atlanta and I'll show you Red Sperm. Yeah. <laughs> that must have really helped in terms of the descriptions, which are so vivid. That's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I, yeah, I wrote a lot. I mean, a lot of it, I would like take a notebook and go sit kind of thing. Yeah, you can almost tell that. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. All right, Mariella. The, this movie is the favorite of both Jasper and Leah. Harry Potter. Yes! <laughs> and the first <Thursday> okay. <laughs> Okay, and Laurel. Leah and Jasper eat this for their main course during their first dinner together. Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think I know. Do you know, Mary Ellen? Uh, I think it was pickles, maybe. Yes. And root beer. <laughs> 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 I, I just reread it, so that's true. That, I think that's right. great. We this happens all the time. We, I mean, it's just a funny thing that you you write the book over and over, and there are all these things you take out and put yeah. in, and so it it like you don't you forget sometimes what you get left with at the end, you know. And also, the, isn't it great that there are people who have read it more recently than you, <laughs> and are so excited about it that they remember it even better than you do? I think that's awesome. All right, the questions actually get harder from here. <laughs> Mariella, what did Leah and Jasper name Jasper's cottage at Red's Farm? Oh, the Vine Realm. Nice, the Vine Realm. And Laurel, we like, we like food questions here. Yeah, apparently. What flavor of ice cream <laughs> does Leah always order at Morelli's? Salted caramel. You got it. Yeah. And so that I did look up to see if Morelli's was a real place. And then, of course, the salted caramel, I guess, is their signature flavor. I did. Yeah, that's right. So that looked really It does have lots of wacky flavors. And I'm always trying to, there's one, I'm always trying to get them to make a lemon custard and they won't. Oh. More than Keep trying. Know. Don't give up. <laughs> okay, Mariella. What is Leah's dad painting on the ceiling in their garage? Mm. A cornfield, like a yeah. farm cornfield, and the little boy. 
And when you were showing us your dollhouse, I almost said something, but then I was like, I'm not going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We should, Mariella wasn't here. Oh. I have the cornfield on the walls of my dollhouse. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, thank you. I like to play a lot. Um, <laughs> forget how to play. And Laura, we like these kind of questions too. When Leah cleans out her junk drawer, she finds this special toy of Sam's. Oh, it's the 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 fart maker. The what's it? Junk roll or other yeah. words. I think it's a junk roll. <laughs> it's the uh, what? What do I call it? I don't remember. Either. I don't remember either. No, no, no. It's gonna come to me. Uh, something with the junk, like a roll or something like that. I cannot believe this. Oh, it's like a little <laughs> play on French. <laughs> le, le. This is one of those things where like I gave it a bunch of names and I can't remember where I landed. Oh. It's very clever. I'm, uh, I'm, this makes me look like I didn't write the book. <laughs> I swear I did. <laughs> I think you got, you got the question right. Yeah, no, it's the noise. It's the noisemaker. It's the fart it machine. It does have a funny name, which you might have changed ten times. In yeah, the, no, the, it's yeah. one of those things where you revise and revise. Yeah. What is it called? I don't know. How about Le Tutor? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> it must. That must have been a last minute change. Oh. All right. <laughs> Another tiny detail for Mariella. What is the name of Leah's cat? Oh, Mr. Face. No. Sure. Oh. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Face plays an important, a small but Mr. important Face role. Yeah. Story. Yeah. And Laurel, what I'm is sure. the phrase on Leah's mom's favorite coffee mug? Oh, um, it says I like I'd rather be smashing the patriarchy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Very good. And again, I think that we know who might be the winner, but we still have a bonus question. <laughs> yeah, you won't call it a tiebreaker because it's called a bonus. Okay, um, anyone, what is Jasper's full name? Uh, um, Jasper Jenna Cohen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, all right. What, what made you such a strong proponent. I mean, I thought the book was great, but I'd love to hear what you thought about it when you're arguing for it, you know, to be um, the best book of the year. I don't know. I guess I really liked, like, because some authors, they don't get, like, what, I don't know, like, some of them make, I don't know really how to explain it, but I felt like I could, like, really, like, picture myself with Jasper and, like, the Vine Realm, and, like, how she um, described, like, the painting and stuff. So I really like that. Thank you. It's it's especially nice for me to hear that from somebody your age because I write very intentionally for people your age, and I feel like a lot of the time middle grade novels are are younger. Are, I mean, and I want all the books, right? We want all the books, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of books that are really for a fourth grader, and there are a lot of books that are really for a tenth grader. And I sometimes feel like middle school, or you know, sort of that those early teen years kind of get lost a little bit, and and. Yeah. I can't write for everybody who's that age, but but sort of I feel like I was very much half a kid and half a grown up at that time, and so I'm. It makes me. It makes, it's very meaningful for me to hear that from you. So thank you. And that's what I love about your writing, Laurel, too, is that you respect the kids. Like you don't downplay what you're writing, or I mean, everything is. You just come out and say things like they're feeling and thinking, and it 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 it's evident that you know, you, you understand them and that you respect who they are. And thank you. I so, hope, I mean, I try, I don't, yeah. my, my kids might disagree with that. Uh, <laughs> it was great. Really I, I looked in my notes when I like, cause I go back, but then I re were rereading. And I, as soon as I finished it, I, my sticky note right on my notes was, I want to reread this right away. So I was so glad that we were able to oh, thank read you so it. Much. And you know, so how about you? Cause then you got to reread it too, Mariella. Yeah, I forgot a lot of details. So if I didn't reread it, I'd probably really be bad at this. But I really liked it. And I really want to give both of them a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> they want to give you a hug too. They would really like you to come here. <laughs>